Welcome back everyone. In today's tutorial, I will guide you through the process of creating a mark sheet in Microsoft Excel. Whether you are a student, a teacher or simply someone who wants to track grades, this tutorial will help you organize and analyze your data efficiently. I will guide you a step by step process so don't skip this video and watch it till end. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. So this is an exemplary data in which I have the names of the student, the marks in different subjects, then I have to calculate the total, average, maximum number, minimum number and grades. First I am going to calculate the total marks. To calculate the total marks, I will write equal and then sum, bracket start and then select the cells that I want to add. Then I am closing the bracket and press the enter. So you calculate the total marks for the first student, then double click on the bottom right corner to calculate the total marks of the rest of the students. Now I am going to calculate the average marks. For this purpose, I am writing equal and the formula of the average is the obtained marks divided it with the total marks. So I will divide this with 600 and multiply with 100. So this is the formula for the average and then I am going to press enter to calculate the average marks of the first student. For the rest of the student double click on the bottom right corner. Now I will go to the home tab and under the home tab I have the option to decrease the decimal. So I will select these cells and then press this decrease decimal to round off to the two decimal place. After this, I am going to calculate the maximum marks. So I will write equal max bracket start and select the subjects mark of the first student. Close the bracket and press enter. So you can see that 76 marks is the highest marks for the first student that is in the social studies subjects. For the rest of the maximum marks, I will double click on the bottom right corner of the first cell. Then for the minimum, I am going to write equal min bracket start. Select the marks of the first student in all the subjects. Then close this bracket and press enter. So the minimum marks are 45 in the subject of English. Then I will double click on the bottom right corner to calculate the minimum marks for all the students. Now to calculate the grades, I am going to use the if formula. So I will write equal if bracket start. Grades are basically based on the average marks. So I will select the cell of the average marks. So if the average marks is greater than or equal to 80 for then I will write this comma. In inverted commas I will write A. The second condition is if bracket start J5 is greater than or equal to 70 comma. In inverted commas I will write B. Then again comma if bracket start J5 is greater than or equal to 60 comma in inverted commas I will write C then again comma if bracket start J5 is greater than or equal to 50 comma in inverted commas I will write D then again comma and now in inverted commas I will write F so it means that if the marks are less than 50% then all the students will be getting the F grade. And I will close the parenthesis and the number of the brackets is equal to the numbers of conditions that I have given. So if I have given the 4 condition I will put the 4 brackets over here. And then I will press this enter. So you can see that I have calculated the grade that I will go to the bottom right corner and double click to calculate the grades for the other students and then go to just 
center and middle align these grades and now you can see that we have successfully calculated the grades now if i want to highlight the student who got the f grade how can i do this i will select these grades then under the home tab i have the conditional formatting i will go to the conditional formatting and then highlight cell rule and select the equal to and here i will write the f i can select any color from the list and then press ok so you can see that the f grade students are automatically highlighted and there you have it if you found this video useful give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more excel tutorials and tips and as always feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below thank you for watching and happy grading in excel